there guys and girls. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a little, a small little predator. One of these little ferocious little species that we get along our inshore sort of area. Something that's able to be targeted by your bait fishermen, kind of, your lure guys, your fly guys, anything, the ultralight stuff is really where these species excel. Of course we're talking about the needle scale queenfish. So that's in the same grouping as your Tulane queenfish or largemouth queenfish but obviously a much smaller version. Now, scientific name, uh, who was it, Scom Scomboroides, Scomboroides Toll, as far as I remember. They quite a flattened fish, they're also, uh, often called salad fish as well. they very, very flattened along like that. They are not very deep, so quite a shallow fish. Come to quite a sharp point. They've got sort of five to eight black spots along their body. Um, and they've got that lateral line that runs all the way along like that and these spots are sort of just up or below that lateral line all the way along like that. Your overall appearance very silvery in color, quite a big mouth for their size. They've also got little sharp teeth, um, obviously not that's going to cut you off but they're there for grabbing, grabbing prey. Um, a biggish eye for their size but yeah sort of a moderate to large eye and where they get their name from they are covered in little spines they are to try and handle them is such a pain because of all those little needles and the, and the little scales and everything that's sharp on it they just kiss you and prick you all over the place it's it's not a lot of fun often if you do catch them you just hold your hook or your lure or whatever and just try and shake them off that's the importance of fishing barbless <laughs> now KZN is sort of the lowest point you're going to get them. They're more from KZN northwards. Um, they, as I said, very sharp spines. They school together, so they like congregating at the mouths of river mouths, uh, harbor mouths, and then in your shallow, calmer bays, they sort of get together in masses and they will obliterate any of the little bait fish. So little glassies, smelt, sprats, all that kind of stuff is where they're going to be going after. Um, they don't really come into estuaries much. They will come into the areas that are still very salty so stuff that's not going to be very estuarine by nature so something that's going to be more salt water than fresh water um, yeah a little voracious predators very sharp little little teeth and when you're fishing for them any little bait fish imitation little spoon something for the guys that fish fly something a small white deceiver um, and then obviously just fish quite close to the surface and fish very quickly Bait wise, they're really going to be little live baits, so your little glasses if you peg them and fish them live. Otherwise, maybe a fillet bait you might pick up on a drift. So, guys fishing for shad might get them every now and again. But yeah, the needle scale queenfish. Um, interesting little species, they sort of congregate in summer, and that's generally when, they, when they're going to be spawning. So, yeah, it's an interesting species, one for the list. And yeah, as we mentioned before, comment down below if you've caught them before or if you know a little trick to catching them. We always like to learn new things, so put that down there. While you're down there, subscribe, like the video, share it around if you want, and yeah, click the bell icon. Cheers, guys.